Hi, uh, a bunch of you yesterday were asking about the bodysuit that I made and like how could you make it, uh, kind of like with this similar weaving style. So I'm just going to do a quick video, if I can, to explain what I've done anyways. Um, and you just need a couple things, so like tape, measuring tape or a ruler just to mark out. Something to mark the clothing with. A scissors, I'm using a craft scissors but if you can get a fabric scissors it'll be much easier than this. <laughs> and uh, a bodysuit of some sort. Now you can do these techniques literally anywhere on the clothing, like you can do them down the back, you can do them down the front, you can do them in the middle, you can do them like up the sides, on the sleeves, like just whichever place you want to do it. Um, but if you're going to do kind of like a back one like I'm going to do, um, it's best to cut off the neck line. So I'm just going to do that first. Um, literally you just go right under the neckline and just cut around it. So once you have your neckline cut off, if you're doing that, just stretch it and that will just curl the edges to make them not so frayed and everything like that. So that will be the neck. Um, so then next we're going to go to work on the back and to start that you just want to find the middle point. Um, again, this is if you want to do the back part, but you can do it in like multiple places on it. So line up the shoulder seams at the top and uh, the bottom clasp, fold that in half and then just find your centre point. I'm just going to do that. And once you've found your centre point, you're going to want to think like how low down on your back do you want it to go. I'm going to want it to go kind of like midpoint. So I'm just going to turn this inside out and draw a little line on the inside to mark where I want to go to. So once that's marked up, uh, it's in the middle and then just take your uh, measuring tape or ruler, whichever you have, and just make sure that uh, this like matches up to each side. I'm going to start kind of cutting uh, just below the neckline. So yeah, just make sure that it matches up to the neckline the same length, just so you know that you're in the center. Once you're pretty confident that you have this like in the center of your garment, then just start cutting. And what you're going to want to do is just cut straight through the whatever you drew there. And then gradually make your cuts wider and wider and wider until you get to the top. And leave about a fingernail worth of space between each one. Just try to keep them as similar to the last one as possible. It's really not like doesn't have to be that exact. It's not going to make or break it. But I'm just going to keep cutting this all the way to the top and then I will show you what's next. Once all your strips are cut and it looks like this, just open it up and do the same thing you did with the neckline. Just stretch out those strips to kind of curl them and make them less likely to fray. All the way down to the bottom and once you've done that turn your piece back the right way around because that's going to be when we weave it once you have turned it back inside out uh, unless you have a mannequin you're gonna have to find a different way to weave it because if you leave it just kind of loose it's going to be very hard to weave so the easiest way to do that is to put it on your own body and if you're doing the back just turn the onesie back to front and just wave it on your front and then turn it back around to your back. But the other option is what I'm doing here to show you uh, is just put it on some cardboard. Uh, one that just stretches out nicely and yeah that's it. So I'm just going to show you now how to do the weave. So you pull the first piece down and we're going to start from the top and go to the bottom. So from the widest to the thinnest. Uh, start pull this over the top and just get the next one hook it around it. So I'll just do that again. So around, pull the other one under and hook it around and then do it to the next one and literally just do that the whole way down. The same thing. Keep hooking it inside that loop, next piece at a time, hooking it inside the loop and hook it inside the loop and hook it inside the loop all the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to push that up a bit. And then that's the basic loop but you can do a different loop which I'll actually do inside this loop just to show you and it's very similar 
I'm just, by the way, holding this with my finger at the end. I think you can kind of, no, you kind of need to hold it. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, so pull this one down, hook the other one around it and twist it this time. Oh, I'm not showing you properly. So yeah, same thing. Pull this one under the other one, but when you pull it under, twist it and then loop the next piece through. Twist it again and loop the next piece through. Hope I'm showing this right. Twist it, loop the next piece through, twist it, loop the next piece through, twist it, loop the next piece through. I'm just going to push the camera down. Twist it, loop, twist it, loop. And just do that all the way down to the bottom. And then I'll show you how to seal it. And then you're pulling that last piece through that I was holding at the bottom. Then stretch this bit out a little bit. Recording uh, when I was trying to show you the cut. So I'm just gonna quickly show you that. We're just gonna slice this in half first and then cut a tiny hole just above the section that you finished threading in and put one loop through there. Once you've put the loop through that hole, join it up with the other side again and tie a knot. And once that knot is tied, I'm going to do it better in a sec, just tuck it inside the shirt. And that's just how it's going to look uh, tucked in. I'm literally just going to show you how that looks on now. That's what we just did. And I'm probably going to do a bit more to this uh, before I finish it. But basically you can just do that anywhere on the bodysuit, do it on the front, do it on the sides, uh, do it kind of diagonally down the back like I did on the other one. Just literally do those two weaves anywhere. You don't need to do the two of them together. You can just do one. Uh, but I was just trying to show you both loops or you can literally leave them unlooped and just have it nice and stretched out on the back. So thank you.